This is uh, Leon Nation. It's August 31st, and this is the trailer that we bought for the tiny house that I'm going to be building. It's a 16-foot trailer, and uh, today we got the top boards taken off. My dad had to cut the bolts with a sawzall because they were rusted on. And I don't really know if you can see, but uh, the trailer's kind of bent. It has an arch in the middle. We got it on Craigslist for about $500, and the guy kind of ripped us off. He lied to us about the bend in it. And then there, there were a bunch of other problems with the ball hitch and stuff, because my neighbor had to go in with my dad to pick it up. But it, it should still work. Uh, I'm going to have to compensate on the sides here. When we build the floor up, we're going to have to make this side a little bit higher and make sure everything's perfectly level. The next step is I'm getting the power washer and a electric brush to take all the rust off. And then we're buying a special paint for it to keep the rust from coming back. And then another layer over top of that to protect it even more. And then we're going to start buying 2x4s and I'll update as there's progress. It is November 14th right now. Uh, we're a little bit, we got behind schedule a lot on it. But I ground all the rust off and put on the paint that gets rid of the rust that turns black. We took off the wheels and everything because we have to get new ones and repair the brakes and on that. Uh, today we started painting the actual, the top coat of paint that's gray like this. Okay, we've been painting for about the past four hours or so, and we now have it covered with the gray paint. Definitely looks a lot better than when we got it. It's January 3rd. I just finished up the floor framing. I'm missing one 2x4 right there in that space that I'll have to get later. And none of these are attached to the trailer yet. I don't want to do that until the spring so that I have to worry about covering it up or anything. Uh, my plan is that I'm going to get the metal sheathing and cover the bottom of this and then have everything ready so in the spring I can just attach it to the trailer, then put the floor and then start building up the walls.